This is my cat Neko, and in today's video he moves into the future because Nikasa sent over one of their fancy new robot cat toilets for him to defile. Now the fancy new cat lavatory in question is the Nikasa M1 automatic litter box, which is box looks like it was passed through an actual cat, one with a very violent digestive system, which has some exciting features on the side of the box. Apparently it's hands free for a maximum of 14 days. And there's an app which helps you big brother track your cat's poop schedule, which <laughs> I kind of weirds me out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Neko's consent for that one. There are some safety tips so that we don't injure our cat. I don't know if we have bentonite at home, but I'm sure we can find some. Ooh, it comes with a litter catchment mat. And then under that, we've got some robot loo legs. Let's get the legs out. And here are a bunch of bog bags, I'm guessing, for all of the poop to go into. And a user manual which hides an external power brick. Ooh. This feline latrine is not very power hungry, you can see there, but you do need it near an outlet, unfortunately, with a nicely braided cable. That kind of just looks like a plastic bin on a pivot, but in here there's some high-tech ablution action going on with a like like a grate that I guess sifts the poops. I don't know if that's a that's a technical term. Okay, now I get to throw my back out deboxing it. Oh, it's big. Oh, oh. Now there is quite a lot going on on the base of this. These holes are where you screw the feet in so that it elevates it a bit off the ground. And then this I think is the poop catcher, which this is quite rubberized. And then I think it can pop out. Yes, there we go. So that it can accommodate a reasonable amount. And then these have like little guide holes so that you put them in the correct way around. I like that. Oh, yeah. okay. So now with it properly set up, it looks even more like a bear or some animal. On the front, there's a bunch of controls for Neko to use. I think it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve for him to turn his toilet on and off every time he gets into it, but he should be fine with all of the rest of the controls, like the cleaning functions and stuff. He's a smart guy, I'm sure he'll figure it out. And then in here, I've just figured out how this works, right? So this is like a, it's almost like a silicon pad down here, which I think is where your cat craps onto. But you have like cat litter in here. And then when your cat's done just defiling this area, then the kitty crapper rotates and dumps all of the desecration into the base of it. But with that, I'm gonna take this home and we're gonna introduce it to the Neko-chan. From the moment I got home, Neko was anxious to see his upgrade toilet. From the one he's been using for years, which doesn't even have an app. Madness. Put it inside, Neko-chan. And then we're gonna put the feet on. Initially, he was real involved in the setup of his new outhouse. Oh, look at it move. But the moment it started self-articulating, I was the one that was way more excited about it than Neko. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You do need to plug it in. Uh, and then once you've plugged it in, your cat completely loses interest and walks away from it, which <laughs> is kind of standard, I think. So we're gonna have to put some litter in here before that stops flashing. It is gonna be quite difficult for him to get in. He's got like a whole ledge to climb up. I mean, he is a cat. They are very nimble, but still. And after a quick snack and some coaxing, Neko was reignited with new toilet lust. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now he's licking the plastic. Oh, that is potentially concerning because he's like a plastic junkie. But Neko didn't spend too much time making out with his new friend before settling in nicely. Oh, it's immediately gotten him all sleepy. So I went to go get some cat litter and add a dash more context. Our cat Neko is a pretty big boy. He's not a little cat. So I think he's a good example of a lot of girth of cat in the litter box. Although, as I mentioned earlier, there is quite a big step getting into the litter box. So I think Neko is not a great test of how accessible this litter box is for a small cat having to clamber up into it. Now, other than that, I am curious to see how Neko handles this toilet because he has quite an interesting way of using his litter box. He 
pretty much perches on the edge of it like Batman on the side of a building. It's very precarious and I'm not sure how well it's going to work in the Nikasa because of the kind of angle that it's at. I don't know if there's enough perches for him on it. Let's connect it to the app and then see how we go about calibrating the cat litter, which is something that is a little bit contentious because it doesn't accept the cat litter that we normally use, which is like a, a wood chip based one. You have to use a different one, which we've used in the past and didn't like. Thank you, Shen. We got to download an app. Yeah, my favorite thing in the world. I wonder, I wonder how much personal data they're gonna want. Now, aside from the app just having a single one-star review on the App Store, always a great sign, the app needs an email address for login, which I guess makes sense, but it also needs precise location data before it'll calibrate the toilet for some reason. Now, I'm no engineer, but I don't understand why my cat's toilet needs to know where I am before it'll calibrate to the cat litter in it, but maybe there's some very important reason for that. So after connecting the app to the Wi-Fi and making a toilet Tinder profile for Nekachan, I could finally dump some cat litter into the toilet, which it could then calibrate to because it knew where I was, but then I ran into a bit of a problem. Oh, I forgot the bags. I forgot the litter bags that came with the Nikasa at the office, but I decided it was a great opportunity for me to test its compatibility with just bags you buy at a shop. Now these are medium sized bags. The problem with these is as the size goes up, they just get kind of deeper as opposed to, to bigger. But I'm hoping this works. Oh, that's not ideal. And then once you half acidly pack the bag in, you kind of slide it in. Ooh. And then it's in. And once the toilet fully figured everything out, the real battle started. Getting Neko to use his new water closet. And so the cat poop waiting began, with Neko staring down his new toilet for ages. Do we need to give you some laxatives? Yo, Neko laxatives, mmm. But Neko had other plans. All the excitement had him tuckered out. So he head to his hidey hole, leaving me in a state of intense productivity. So after several hours of sleeping, Neko-chan's finally woken up, although he doesn't seem to be into pooing at the moment. Come Neko-chan, how are those bowels doing down there, huh? Are they full? But the only thing on Neko's mind was tummy play action, until the toilet started stirring. Oh, Neko-chan, I think the toilet thinks you used it. But this wasn't enough to win over Neko's heart, because when he eventually chose to go to the bathroom, he used the wrong one. Neki chan that's the wrong toilet. You need, to do, you need to be using that one. Why are you perching there? Oh, look at that face. The thing that they suggested in the manual is that we move some of the old litter in there in, into there so that he like recognizes the new smell. But even with the used cat litter mixed into the new toilet, Neko kept using his trusty old toilet. So then we decided to block off his original toilet, which Neko was not a big fan of. But finally, after an extended display of how displeased he was, Neko gave in. And with that great success, let's give Neko a bit of much needed privacy and check back in in a couple days. After the initial struggle, Neko seemed to acclimatize to his new toilet real nicely. He seems to quite like it, sometimes even hanging out in it just for like general recreation. And the toilet works way better than I was expecting. After every time Neko uses it, it goes through a rotation cycle, which filters out the defiled cat litter dumping it in the basement, leaving just clean cat litter at the top for Neko to interact with. And it does all of that with no interaction on your part. The only time you need to do anything is either add more cat litter or empty out to the poop dungeon once it gets full, which the bag makes really easy to do. Although I am still looking for off-the-shelf bags that'll fit in the tray, and I do wish they had compostable options, because as it stands, it is quite plastic heavy. But at the end of the day, I accepted it because I thought it would be funny, but I actually like this toilet way more than I was expecting, although there are a couple of issues with it. The plastic bag one, like I mentioned before, I don't like that you have to use an app with it, even if it does let you track your cat's bowel movements for some reason. Reason. Although, it is nice that it tells you when the poop dungeon is full and when to change it out. And another issue is that because it's got a bunch of moving parts, it's never going to be as reliable as just a bin on the ground. And then there's the whole thing of it costing quite a bit of money. I think it's worth what it costs, but it's still a bunch of money to spend on just a thing your cat in. 
However, it is like having a poop butler, which is pretty cool. Which brings me to the end of me massively violating my cat's privacy. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, bye-bye. And for those of you that are inevitably gonna go, Eee, your cat's name is Cat and that's stupid. Well, do you know what? You're stupid. How about that, huh? How do you like that? <laughs>